What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be going over the Miami Dolphins linebackers, the contract situations, all that. And I am talking about, like, off-ball linebackers. I'm not talking about edge rushers. I do want to specify that. Um, if you're looking for my thoughts on, like, Jalen Phillips and Andrew Van Ginkle, I've already done that video. Go watch that. Even though Andrew Van Ginkle does play linebacker as well. So, I do. I, and because he also plays linebacker as well, I guess I could talk about him, too. Uh, so I guess I'll start with him. He His contract is up, and I definitely want to re-sign him. I said that in the Edge Rusher video. I definitely want to throw him some bread. Uh, I definitely want to keep him. Uh, he is a priority for me. Um, so, yeah, that, that that's really, really what that is. Now, I don't think his production has been that crazy where he should be getting like a crazy amount of money like a top-tier Edge Rusher. Um, so I think we could possibly get a team-friendly deal from him. That, which is what I'm hoping for. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my thought there. Um, as far as the rest of our linebackers go, Jerome Baker, we still have one more year with him. So I'm, I'm definitely wanting to keep him around. Zeke Vandenberg got hurt this year. We still have him locked up for two more years. Hopefully he comes back healthy. Uh, didn't really even get to show out <laughs> in preseason. Uh, he was an undrafted free agent. We still got Channing Tindall for two years, so that's good. Still got David Long for one more. Uh, we still got Duke Riley for one more. So our linebacker room is kind of similar. Calvin Munson, his contract is up, but I'm not trying to re-sign him. Uh, I definitely want to address linebacker, though. I think that is a position we could really improve on. Uh, I'm not necessarily looking to just cut any of these guys. Um, I'm not a big fan of Duke Riley. I think I've been pretty clear about that his whole time here. But I'm not looking to just outright cut him. Um, I'm, I've also been very critical of Jerome Baker. Definitely not looking to just cut him. Linebackers don't grow on trees, it turns out. Um, but I do want to heavily address linebacker. And not just in the draft. I, I would like to look for one in free agency. Um, I want one that one can play some decent zone coverage because we are in Vic Fangio's scheme. But I also want one that just plays his keys well. Like, doesn't work himself out of the play, doesn't get himself out of position, can come down and smack people. That's what I want. Um, I think pairing them with David Long I think was would be very good and then have Jerome Baker as a third guy and a rotational guy. I think that would be fantastic for this year and then just let Jerome Baker walk next year. That's kind of that's kind of my idea. <laughs> um, Duke Riley, like I said, we do need depth, so I think he has to stay at least until camp. Uh, he's making about three million this year. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, it feels like he's a pretty big locker room guy, so I think that's a part of it too. Um, I think we kind of got a good feel for that on Hard Knocks, so I, I don't hate keeping him around for another season. Um, but I do want to address linebacker both in free agency and in the draft. Honestly, um, I don't necessarily want to. I don't necessarily think we have to draft linebacker like super early, but I do want to address it. Uh, I think linebacker is a position. If you have a normal amount of picks, I think I think wide receiver, offensive line, linebacker, and defensive back are all positions you should address every year because you need so many of them to fill your roster. Because linebacker, special teams alone, you need a lot of linebackers. So. That's kind of my thought. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Like, like I'm hoping that we see Channing Tindall improve a lot. He has barely played his first two years. Um, not feeling super great about him. Our depth at linebacker is really bad. We really seen that when uh, Jerome Baker went down and we had nothing but like Duke Riley, Channing Tindall. We had to sign Calvin Munson. We had no depth at linebacker at all. And I, I think Jerome Baker is very replaceable too. So, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.